Hi, this is Atmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Box Markets for Monday the 14th of June. Starting off with Arc Minerals where we've had a rebound just above the 200 day moving average at 5.11 pence. That's a plus. Higher low versus that late January support there around 5 pence and also obviously still holding on to that uh, unfilled gap to the upside through resistance at uh, the beginning of January. That's normally that kind of uh, unfilled gap to the upside if it remains unfilled is normally a sign of a stock which is or a market which is uh, heading higher in a significant way. The view at this stage is that while we're above the 200 day line we're looking towards the top of that broadening triangle from January as high as eight and a half pence obviously retesting March resistance there and that could be seen as soon as the end of next month. Stock where there's a lot of chit chat at the moment is uh, Braveheart and uh, perhaps not surprisingly had that little bear trap below 40 pence last week which uh, I identified or highlighted uh, at the time. Current situation is that uh, the longer we stay above uh, Friday's support at 41 and a half pence the greater the chance of at least to move towards uh, the 50 day moving average at 56 pence. Other plus points apart from the bear trap are the uh, bullish divergence there which uh, should uh, deliver further momentum and the way that the 200 day line there at uh, what's that 40 well 48 pence let's call it is still rising so that is a plus as well. A weekly close above the 200 day line should uh, seal the deal in terms of allowing the shares to not only hit the 50 day line but uh, even retest April resistance through 80 pence over the next one to two months only back well below 40 really delaying the upside scenario there stock which is uh, periodically hit by the bears uh, is uh, bid stack so that's good reason for having a look at it and seeing whether they've got it right or not situation here is that uh, we found support basically uh, back at 3.7 pence um, uh, which was also the may support uh, so June and May support the same level but uh, we've got a good amount of uh, bullish divergence there as well so the, uh, the the low that we've had not matched by a lower low in the RSI window so that should uh, suggest well that does suggest that there is uh, bullish momentum here initial target here while we hold above uh, the 3.7 pence level back at the 50 day line at four and three quarters just but, but just a sign there that uh, the shares are starting to stabilize and that might be worth having a look at on to a rather more positive situation fundamentally at least uh, we've got Keras Mineral Resources here we've had uh, this uh, pretty solid looking uh, performance since the stock came to market uh, at the end of March still looking for a, a top of trend channel target here towards 35 pence and that could be hit as soon as the end of this month and uh, the upside about it while we hold above recent support there at uh, around the 24 pence level so above 24 looking for 35 36 pence by the end of the month oil stocks obviously booming with the uh, oil price at the moment uh, first one here today is uh, enquest where we've had this uh, multiple support points above the uh, 200 day line rising at 14 and a half pence so that does suggest that we're going to be or well, we're in the run-up to a break to the upside uh, top of the channel there that i've just drawn there from february up towards 28 pence and that's valid while we hold above the uh, 20 day moving average currently at 18 and a half pence uh, hopefully no uh, lasting uh, breakdown below 19 ahead of that 28 pence technical target by the end of next month hopefully uh, paired with uh, Keras is uh, Jubilee Metals at the moment uh, here we've had a decent push through the 20 pence level and uh, rising trend channel in place on the daily chart uh, from back in December a uh, floor of the channel around the 50 day line or just uh, well, yeah, just around the 50 day line at 18 pence above 18 pence looking for 25 pence by the end of this month hopefully but uh, hopefully well almost certainly by the end of next month at the current rate of progress uh, we looked at uh, Chromec on uh, several occasions in the recent past and it's uh, back again uh, just trying to break that uh, post April resistance around uh, what 16 17 pence haven't quite done it yet but after that little bear trap that we had below the 200 day line at 14 pence looks as though the shares are back uh, on the uh, front foot let's say uh, we've got a, a broadening triangle here for, uh, because of that uh, bear trap and the triangle heading towards 20 pence which could be seen uh, by the end of this month while we hold above the 200 day line at 14.3 pence but looking quite constructive there at Chromec at the moment a rather slower situation is um, coming up next now this is one which is uh,
bit of an oil tanker in terms of its price action but uh, mineral and financial still within a rising trend channel that's been in place uh, for months now back in uh, what uh, july last year top of the channel heading towards 22 pence and that's valid while we hold above the 11 to 11 and a half pence area which uh, we've got a sort of slow breakout going on at the moment but uh, above the 50-day line looking for 22 pence over the next couple of months for mafl uh, mode global in the news today and uh, really uh, the news today should hopefully settle the stock as not just being a bitcoin app uh, here we've got to break through the 50-day moving average at 40 well, just under 49 pence above that looking we were looking for the upper upper 50s uh, last week and looks like we'll get that hopefully this week after breaking that uh, falling wedge that's been in place on the daily chart since march this stage only really back below that uh, april resistance line at 45p really questioning the recovery argument for the shares at the moment on to sarium which has just uh, kept on uh, delivering for the uh, bulls uh, in the near term we've had that uh, gap through resistance one of the favorite setups and it certainly worked today well worked uh, this month rather gap through three pence never really looked back at all uh, notional entry point on the end of day uh, close above the gap uh, that we had the following day uh, around 3.1 pence and uh, now people in there would have uh, practically doubled their money in terms of what the upside should be or could be we're looking at uh, up to as high as uh, nine pence or nine and a half pence now uh, by the end of next month within this uh, rising trend channel uh, from back in november so let's see how we go with that probably the best stop loss at the moment back around the four and four point six pence level which was mid or well, sort of uh, the the initial resistance for this month and the uh, the uh, longer bar of an inside bar that was there uh, over uh, last week but uh, above four and a half looking for nine and a half by the end of next month on sarium just a couple of stocks to go now the other oil favorite is back uh, tallow oil here we've got a nice uh, bull flag breakout here with the uh, uh, initial uh, june resistance at 62 pence above that on an end of day close basis looking for further gains here after what's already been an extended recovery up to as high as 90 pence on the top of that november trend channel over the next couple of months so maybe by uh, the end of July going into the first part of August in terms of that particular rather ambitious sounding target but with uh, multiple support points above the 200 day line do, does suggest that uh, the shares are on their way for a big upside over the summer finishing off uh, with uh, stock which is rather less uh, uh, far far um, uh, well, less uh, sort of uh, along the uh, bullish curve or the recovery curve here for uh, Westmount Energy uh, here we've got a resistance line there broken from march around uh, 12 and a half pence and above 12 and a half looking towards not only filling that gap down at 15 pence but heading up towards the 200 day line at 16 and a half pence perhaps as soon as the end of next month uh, the big starting gun i suppose or the uh, the big uh, green light for a recovery would be an end of day close back above the top of the gap at 15 pence plus that would then hopefully open up the prospect of uh, the low 20s but at this stage above 12 and a half looking for 16 and a half over the near term at Westmount Energy that's it for me today more updates tomorrow